Alright, here's my gear. There it is. I think that's where we're going to mount the panel. That seems pretty good. And then we got room to mount stuff underneath it. And stuff, some room to the side. That's probably going to be where the, the solar panel wire is coming from. Um, yeah. Or maybe we can go a little more to the side like here. We got we got plenty of space. I mean that at least that way we can put stuff in between it. So what do you I think I think it would be better over here. So let's put it here. But I'm uh, having a problem. There's this hump on the back of this, okay? See this hump here? I don't know why it's there. So they can mount this bar thing here. Oh, I see. It's a neutral oh, that's a it's a neutral bonding. No, it's not. Because the hole that hole is the neutral bonding thing. I don't know what that oh that this that connects this thing. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, so so we can mount it flush. I'm gonna add some. Uh, uh, I'm gonna add some nuts. Okay, we're gonna use spacers. I'm gonna add some nuts to the back of this and space it out a little bit from the panel, from the from the project board. Okay, um, and then uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, we'll probably use these two holes right here. Okay, got it. All right, let's go mount this sucker. By the way, this is the panel that I bought. All right, this is what it looks like at Home Depot. Um, it's a it's a square D or a D. I call it D square. <laughs> Home line circuit breaker load center. It's an indoor one. Um, it kind of sucks that there's no cover for it, man. Um, yeah, and then uh, I did buy the the ground bar for it. Okay, so this is PK7 GTA. I have to go to another Home Depot to get this one. PK7 GTA. Okay, so this is the ground bar for it. All right, so you you have to buy it separately. Okay, and this is like the little, these are the screws that go with it. Okay, um, so this is a, it's 12, it's 12 circuits. Yeah, so it has six spaces and 12 circuits is what it says here, okay. So that's the one I got, I just wanted a small one, okay. Maybe I should have got one with a little bit more, but I think this should be adequate for what we need, okay. But if we decide... If I decide to go 240 volts later, then then we're gonna lose, you know, we're gonna lose three, we're gonna lose three of the uh, circuits, okay? Because because then, because technically you can only have three. Yeah, you can only have three 120 volt circuits, okay? Only you can only connect it to one on one one of these bars here, okay? Um, if now if we, like I said, if we, if we put these together, okay, these two bars. Then you can make it all of them 120 volts, okay? If not, then you can only make half of them 120 volts, and then the other ones, and whatever the other ones are, will be, you know, 240 volts. That's what I want to say, okay? Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> and this thing was really inexpensive. It was like 20 bucks or something. Okay, right. I got my mounting hardware for the, the panel here, okay? I got these four nuts that I found in my little nut and washer box right there, okay? They're all the same size. Perfect. Okay. Well, two of them are kind of dirty looking. Maybe I'll clean them up a little bit. Um, okay. So, uh, like I said, we'll mount we'll mount it right here so I can mount some stuff like in between. Okay. Sounds good. Well, uh, yeah, we should make sure the wire the wire will go all the way. I think this is like I got three feet of wire. They're like, oh, you only need three feet. Like, yeah, I'm not going that far. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna go up here. Okay, like that. I think whichever one's the input or the output. The output is in the back, so so this one will go here to the back, okay? And then it'll go to the the panel right there, okay? And then I'm gonna use whatever's extra the six gauge uh, wire to. Uh, is this how thick it is, man? Look at that. Okay. Um, yeah. So so I think it should reach. All right, so that's the wire that's going to be going from here to here, okay? And it's, yes, this is just going to be exposed, so um, it's fine. <laughs> it's not going to pass code. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go about this guy now. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with this. I'm going to hold it up, and then I'm going to kind of press on the panel so I can make a mark into the, the board, and then and then we'll just screw the the screw the screw in and then we'll hang it up like like a picture frame type of thing okay so i'm gonna say right there is good okay and also i probably i probably want to do one and then i want to get a level and make sure it's level but it looks level to me 
I think I think that should do it. Yeah, maybe a little higher. Okay. So I will do the first screw, or I'll just yeah. Let's put the first screw in first. Okay. I'm gonna press on it to make a mark. Okay. And I'm gonna take it off. Then we're gonna screw this one in like halfway. Not enough power. Okay. This is gonna go on like so. Oh, I think I did too much. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's actually perfect. Okay. So that's kind of how we want it. We got one of them in. All right. So I'm gonna go get my torpedo, and then we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go make sure it's level before we put the next one in. Okay, I got my torpedo here. Just mount it on there flat so we can get it reasonably level, is what I'm gonna say. Somewhere somewhere right there is good. Okay, I'm gonna go get another screw. Okay, somewhere here. Press on it hard. <clears throat> Okay. Screw this one in halfway. Okay. Yeah, that might be too much. Alright. Pick it up. And slide it in. There we go. Okay. Just make sure let's make sure it's level. It could go to the right a little bit. No, no, no. No, it's perfect. Okay, that's fine. It's pretty close to level. <laughs> what am I going to say? All right, good enough. Okay, so now we're going to add the two two more screws over here. Okay. Let me go clean these. They're a little nasty looking. <laughs> better. Check them out. Okay. Whoops. I dropped I dropped my uh, but did that. I'll go get I'll try to reacquire it. Ugh, with my buddy here, magnet. All right. Okay. Here we go again. Middle of the hole. Here we go. Solid. Solid as a rock. All right, let's just double check the uh, the level. Okay, it's a little. It's <sighs> fine. Okay. There we go. Good to go. When everything's all in there, okay. And we got these. I don't like how this moves around the whole lot like that. Is it supposed to be like that? It's kind of kind of cheap again. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's what it's gonna look like with the cover on there. Okay. Alright. Okay, next thing mounted. we're gonna do is we're gonna add this grounding kit here, okay, the grounding bar. Alright, the Papa Kilo 7 Golf Tango Alpha <laughs> Home Line Grounding Kit. So remember uh, if you buy home if you buy home line stuff or D Square or Schneider Electric, um, it's gotta it's got to, um, it's got to be, uh, you got to use the same brand stuff, okay? Okay, so the reason there's two sets of screws is so for, for one of them, I think the shorter ones, if you're going to mount it sideways like this on the, the side or, or the side, um, you can, you use the shorter screws, okay? But according to the manual, like, if you're going to mount it like on a surface like this, um, you want to do you want to use the longer screws, okay? So we're going to use the longer ones, okay? Because he's making us learning new stuff, all right? <laughs> okay, so uh, so there's there's four sets of holes in this box. I think that means you can you can mount the 
the grounding bar anywhere on these four holes right here, okay? And it'll ground, pretty much it grounds, you know, the wiring and it grounds the box too, okay? So, cool deal. All right, so let me get a, let me get a, a regular screwdriver. Okay, so we're gonna go mount this grounding bar. It is kinda hard to get in there, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, really close to the side. Not giving us a whole lot of space to look right. I should have, I'm not gonna lie, I should have installed this before we put the panel in. Okay. One. Okay, so it mentioned to torque it to 30 inch pounds, alright? So we'll go torque it to 30 inch pounds. Okay, I got my torque wrench here, and I got a little screwdriver attachment on it, and we're gonna torque it to 30 inch pounds. I hope it doesn't mess it up. It's not even, it's not even touching on me. <laughs> it's got a long way to go. Keep on, keep on, keep on going, dude. Okay, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna strip that. Fine. That's fine. Forget the torque, man. I'll just make sure it's snug. <laughs> it's on there really good. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's probably why we have to have it off the wall a little bit. It's because these screws like stick out the back, okay? If you're gonna screw anything into it. There shouldn't be any, but there shouldn't be anything else touching the, the uh, going, coming out the back of the box, okay? Because because like this box is grounded, so if anything else was to touch this, like the hot wire, then then you're gonna get a spark, you know, not good. Okay, okay so I've got these uh, these non-metallic clamp connectors for a half inch knockout. I don't know which ones are the half half inch, um, but basically this is just puts this in there so it clamps down on the wire so it doesn't get accidentally pulled out. Okay, this one doesn't. This one won't have it. So I think what we're gonna have to do is maybe maybe bolt it down to the board or something okay but we'll do that later this is a really thick wire too you could really kind of damage something if you really pulled it hard okay let's get one of these guys out of here and let's make sure it fits in there too <laughs> Maybe, I'm, i hope i hope i didn't buy the wrong one oh <laughs> it think like barely fits man it's perfect man it's perfect all right all right so i'm gonna go knock out one of these holes here it looks like yeah any one of these half inch dealies will work let's let's do this i'm gonna do this one right here okay i've, I've watched these electrician videos of people doing it so hopefully i could do it there's so the box has what's called uh knockouts in it okay so there's plenty of them there's there's different size ones okay um there's these so this one you can accommodates different ones. There's a smaller one and a larger one, and there's an even larger one right here. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna the main one. We're gonna use one of these guys, okay? Um, since it's gonna come down, it's gonna come down like this, and there's gonna be like a wire hanging out here, and then it's gonna come up like that. So, so one potentially problem with that is that yeah, you're gonna have a wire hanging out here, and somebody could potentially grab it and and then just it'll just come right out okay so definitely make sure it's secure okay and that's why we got these clamps okay so i think i think the best thing to do would be to use this guy or let's use this guy right here oh, it's up to you Can't knock it out. What the heck? I don't know. There we go. Just need to whack it harder, Merlin. Come on. And that's so you just use, get some cutters and you take it, twist it around. So the reason that you got to have these. The reason you gotta have these connectors in here is because these are sharp and they could cut the wire when you run when you pull the wire through it, okay? So, so now we're gonna go put this connector dealy okay, here. We're gonna add this clamp connector here. Okay. Just 
going to get a pliers. Snug it. Okay, yeah, you can tell Hayes Mega is a rookie at this. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go take our, our our, I'm gonna go strip some wires out. I don't really know how much. Uh, let's see. So the ground's gonna be right here. All right. I'll probably put it. I'll put it at the top, right here. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, we'll put it. We'll put the ground up here. Okay. And then one of the hots is gonna. I'm gonna. The other hot's gonna go straight into here. Okay. The black wire is gonna go here, and then and then the white's gonna go into the neutral bar here. Okay. So I need. Need a lot of wire. like that much quite a bit of wire because I need that white wire huh maybe I don't have long enough wire I'm not sure mm. okay anyway yeah so let's run this through here and then and then I'll cut the jacket off uh, let me cut uh, I'll cut about a foot off right now Basically just bought it for the wires anyways, you know. And then you're supposed to just kind of pull it back. Get the rest of the pliers. Okay. Okay, there's your ground here this is the black so let's go run the black man maybe I didn't buy enough wire man this stuff is hard to work with <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this stuff is hard to work with I need more wire <laughs> okay so so the white wire is the one that's going to be the hardest one to run. Okay. All right. So I'm going to strip off like an like half an inch or here or some something. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm not going to lie. Hades Mega is not an expert at working with big wires. I'm just use a knife. Okay. Got my knife here. We're going to try to cut this jacket off. Cut himself, man. <laughs> man, this stuff is hard to work with. Okay, I think that's enough. See, okay, so the white wire's got to go to the neutral bar. You should probably right. loosen the terminal first, man. Okay, so the, so the way I heard that you're supposed to do these uh, when you make these connections is you need to tighten it and then wiggle it, then tighten it and wiggle it so, so it squishes the whole wire, okay? Wiggle it, tighten it, see, so it, it gets looser, I can feel it, it's getting looser. So wiggle it, tighten it, wiggle it, it's gonna tighten, tightener. There we go. At some point, it just. There we go. All right, that's as, as much as it's gonna go. Okay, and then I'm gonna wanna just bend this. Okay, so I guess that's as far how far we're gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna get um, my screwdriver here, and we're gonna tighten the the clamp right here, so this doesn't move. Okay, I don't think that's going anywhere. Oops, <laughs> the whole thing just freaking moves when that's it's fine, whatever. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna cut this. I can tell you electricians use a lot of heavy duty tools, man. 
used to working with small wires, not this kind okay, of stuff. Okay, so next one is the, we'll do the next easier one, the ground, all right? So this is the ground wire right here. And we're probably not going to need all of it, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Um, I think we have enough wire, I think. Okay, boys and girls, this is what Hayes Vegas got done so far. We mounted the panel and uh, we've we put the clamp in here. We broke, we, you know, we clamped the, the um, I think this is a six, this is six two. Yeah, six, this is a six two cable. Um, it has a neutral and a hot right here and the ground right here, okay? So it has two conductors, or, or there's a hot and a ground only. Okay, um, so now the next thing, so we put the neutral in so far. All right, it looks like it's in there pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't know if I want it sticking out like that, but I think it's okay because we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna wind up doing is running, uh, the, uh, the our excess black wire here from here to here. Okay, and you know, I may need to get another one. This might not be long enough. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, but we definitely got enough to reach here, so I think that I think we're good for for the wire. But it looks like I got just enough wire is the problem. Okay. Um, Okay, so we've clamped this down, and then we've uh, we've connected the neutral wire to the neutral neutral bus here. Okay, so this is our this is our main wire. I think I could probably cut this much wire. For now, yeah, this stuff is no joke, man. might want to do is chop a little bit more off. Oh, Jesus. That's why they have those heavy duty cutters, man. This is an electrician's pliers right here, okay? I was wondering why they call these electrician's pliers because they're really heavy duty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna run this into the grounding bar. Okay, sorry, camera batteries ran out. There we go. Ground's in there on the grounding bar. All right, the neutrals at the white wires on the neutral. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go run our, our black. Okay, the black is gonna go right here, okay? I don't think we have enough wire to bridge it, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't have enough wire to bridge it. I might have to go get more six gauge wire. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna be long enough. <laughs> Because of this freaking white wire, the white wire had to go all the way up there. So yeah, definitely always buy more wire than you think you need. I'm gonna leave this out here like this because we're gonna have to have the black wire come up here, and it's gonna come down here to tie the two buses together. Okay, the bus bars. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna go connect the black wire right here. It's a piece of cake, right? I gotta make sure I just cut it. Yeah, it could go. It could go all the way. We'll just. I'll cut it right here, and I don't think it's gonna be long enough. So we're gonna have to go buy some more six gauge wire. Okay, we're gonna go do the black wire. Use these big beefy wire cutters right here. We're gonna cut it, yeah, right around here. <laughs> it's just what it goes flying, dude. This stuff is no joke. The wire, the wires, <laughs> this stuff is no joke, man. All right, I'm gonna go. Maybe I want to cut it a little bit shorter. Just just a teeny tiny bit. Ugh, okay. Yeah, this copper wire is just flying all over the place. Alright, and then, uh, then I'm going to strip it right. Haha, -ha, you can be a you can be an electrician too, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Electricians, actual electricians are probably laughing at Hazen right now. <laughs> Get excited over just a little thing like that, all right? Okay. And then we're gonna run. This is hard work. This is hard work, man. <laughs> electricians have hard jobs. It's very labor intensive. All right, I don't know how we're gonna get this in there. I have to kind of bend it a little bit first. And then... Dude, it is so. This is so stiff. All right, yeah, you got it? Okay, good. There we go, perfect. Perfect, this one I want. Okay, here we go. 
we're going to tighten it. So you can see the wires are kind of spreading out on the top there. See the wires is spreading out on the top there. Let me tighten it. You can't see the other one because it's kind of hiding, you know? Okay, and then you're supposed to wiggle it. See, if you wiggle it, it loosens. See? Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep on wiggling it until so you can learn anymore. stuff on YouTube. <laughs> it's like I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm doing electrician shit, man. Wiggle it. I don't think I should have put this breaker in and take this off. Shake it. I hope the other wiring is much easier. These these main wires are really, really hard to run, man. See, just the wire's still moving around in there. Oh, this is a hard work. See, it just keeps on shaking. Right, at some point, it just kind of stops. Wow, these terminals are really strong. Okay, I think that's good. It's not going anywhere. So make sure this is nice and tight. The ground, you don't have to worry about that because it's just a solid copper wire, okay? This is stranded, so you gotta make sure you flatten the wire out when you when you're clamping it down. Okay, there we go. We're done. Uh, whew. Okay, now we got to connect the other end of this to the inverter, right? It does have it does move a little bit though, so that's good. What I might do is I might clamp it to the wall here. So yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so these cables are going to go in there like so, okay? And it's going to connect to right here. All right. Um, yeah, I hope I don't break this or anything. There's a ribbon right there. Okay, anyway, it's gonna go... Probably need to cut at least this much first, okay? Okay, I don't know what the deal with this is. <laughs> the white wire is a lot shorter than the other ones. Uh, it's probably because we used a lot of the white wire right here, okay? Um, so I'm gonna just cut these right here because these just pretty much mount in the same place, okay? So I'm gonna cut these flush real quick. Okay, so we can kind of put this in there now. Um, so if you look under here, all right, it says AC output, all right? So that's, we want, this is gonna be the output right here, okay? So we're gonna want the one in the back here, okay? The input is right here, okay? Um, so we're gonna run it through this little conduit here, all right, sort of, or like a, a strain relief connector. Um, and then, um, and then it says here ground, okay? Ground, live, and neutral, okay? So the ground is the copper wire, the li uh, live is the black, and the neutral is the white, okay? Maybe Mega has learned some stuff, all right? <laughs> all right, here we go, good luck. Did the black one get longer again? What the, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> The lengths keep on changing, man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cut it again, man. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna s strip these. I'm um, gonna get open these up. Man, for something that's supposed to be pushing so much current, it's kind of not heavy duty, man. Is this going to be good? Alright, here we go. I don't really know how far to strip it. Alright, let's, let's just stick it in there first. Okay, 
I'm not worried about the ground, it's the other two I'm worried about because they're really thick. enough. The white one did not turn out so well. It's so hard to work with these wires. <laughs> They're so thick, man. This is ridiculous. Oh, you look, wow, it's pretty amazing how it just kind of goes in there. Let me get some, uh, some new one else. Right, I hope you guys, you can see what's going on here. I'll show you my finished work. Oh yeah, I do. I do need the light, dude. Okay guys, there's my handiwork. Oh, that was so hard to get in there. I didn't even know if I could fit them in there, but it looks like it's secure. I pull it. What I might, I don't know if that white one is secure. I think what I might want to do is cut some of the strands off of it and then shove it up in there more. That way I'll know. <laughs> I know, pretty sure the ground is in there and the live is in there, I think. Cause I saw the live, I, I saw the, t the wires flatten a little bit, you know? Um, I don't know how good a connection that is though. Yeah, and well, that's an important one. That's the that's the main. So, but it looks like it's in there good. Okay, I'll wiggle it a little bit and see if I can pull it out. If I can pull it out, then that's it's a no go. But also, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to break these terminals too. So, okay, but yeah. So, the white wire is going is the neutral. Okay, live is the black, and then the ground is the ground is the bare wire right there. Okay, um, sometimes it's the green wire. I think if it's in like an extension cord or something. So it's either yeah, bare or green. Fine. Okay. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So what I might want to do, I know I got this big old wire hanging out here. What I might want to do is Okay, um, so yeah, that was the AC output for the for the grow out inverter. Okay, so it's gonna go uh, I'm I still gotta cut this off, but it's gonna go from here to here. I'm gonna put a clamp right here so this doesn't get pulled out accidentally. Okay, because uh, look, it looks really easy. You could easily, oh, I tripped, and you pull that thing, and it'll just rip everything right out, right? You don't want that. It'll be all bad. Okay, um, so, so yeah, I'm going to go get a clamp, and then clamp this down, and then that'll be it for that. Okay, Hazemega's going to do a quick continuity test, okay, just to see that if I got a good connection, if they're, if I, at least I got a connection, you know, <laughs> type of thing. I kind of, that's what I'm worried about, all right? Um, so I got it set to ohms right now. I, I know you guys probably can't see it. set to ohms right there and then uh, I'm gonna okay we're just gonna check to see if there's a you know a connection so I'm gonna connect it from the screw okay the screw here is actually touching it or I already did it all right but I'm just gonna show you how I did it so I'm gonna connect the white wire and then I'm gonna connect it to the the neutral bus bar right here and I should get zero resistance okay good all right and then I'm going to connect the black here. The um, I got it on the black screw here that's going to the black wire, the live. I'm going to connect it to the black bus bar here, okay? I got zero resistance right there, okay? I'm going to connect it to the bus bar. Zero resistance. This one should have nothing on it because it's not connected to the other one yet, okay? And then the ground, okay? So the ground, I actually found out the ground wasn't connected properly. So I had to actually get some pliers and pull it up in there more. And then, and then, it, and then it connected because I wiggled it. I was like, hey, it's not, it's not in there, man. <laughs> okay, so I got it connected to the ground right now, all right, on the, the ground terminal. And then we're going to, we're going to pick a ground. So supposedly this whole box is grounded. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on the clamp here. I should get zero resistance. Okay, good. Um, and then I'm going to connect it to the bus bar. You guys can't see it, but there's the bus bar, uh, the ground bus bar right there. There you go, zero. All right, so everything is connected. Yeah, all right. So how well connected? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out if it gets too hot, man. I hope the connection is good, man. 
I'm telling you that I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The, uh, the, the terminals on the, on the grill watt inverter, they look kind of fragile. They're, they're like plastic, you know. They got like plastic. I guess it has. I, I, I understand why it's plastic. <laughs> so, so stuff doesn't short out, right? You know, accidentally, you know, stuff doesn't, doesn't short circuit or anything that kind of thing. So, so I can understand why it's plastic like that. I, I hope it's pretty strong because that six gauge wire back there, man, it's pretty thick, dude. Um, that's the correct wire. I think that's the wire that they uh, that they recommended. So that's the one I used. Okay. Um, yeah. So hopefully there's a good connection. I know for sure there's a good connection on this box because this is a lot easier to work on. There's everything. It's a lot more open, you know. Okay. So we're we're done with this. Uh, I'm gonna cut this off. I I did a continuity test to make sure everything is connected at least. You know, I don't how well it's connected. I don't know. And then uh, and then yeah. So I'm gonna go pull off. The rest of this sheath here and then I'm gonna go clamp this to the wall here so it doesn't get pulled off accidentally okay Okay, so there's my handiwork. I use one of these Harbor Freight insulated clamps here. Glad to finally use them, especially the big ones. So that that will keep us from pulling that out of this. So if I accidentally pull on this, it won't, you know, it won't come out so easily, okay? You'd have to rip this right out of the, the wall, okay? And then you've got this clamp right here protecting this one, okay? So, so yeah, you're not gonna break that. It's just freaking thick ass wire, man. Um, and then I tighten this in here so it doesn't move anymore. So my what I might want to do is make sure, um, I, I don't know, maybe I clamp this enough where like, the, it, hopefully the wires aren't shorted on each other. So what I might do is I might check the continuity between the two wires too. That might be a good thing because maybe it could have got cut inside and maybe they're shorted out. I'm not sure, but I doubt it. So, but I'll double check. All right, he's making here. So uh, I'm just gonna add this clip onto the uh, the breaker panel video. All right. Um, so what I got going on is uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bridge the um, the two uh, bus bars here. Okay, the two hot hot bars. <laughs> That's what we call. Them. I don't know what the hell they call them. But uh, so the way the the way the panel works is that you could do you could do 240 or a 120. Okay, you can have both. Okay. So you would have the L1 here, okay? I think it's a a red wire. One of them is a red wire and one of them is a black wire, okay? There's an L1 and an L2, okay? They're different phases, all right? Um, and then if you put them together, you get 240 volts, all right? But this is only, but I don't have enough power. I don't, I would need two inverters and I would, they would have to be in sync, okay? To do 240 volts and I only have one inverter. so. This is going to be a 120 volt panel only, okay? So, so to do that, we're going to bridge this to this, and then we can use every every one of these, you know, circuit breaker. Um, I don't know what do they call them. These circuit breaker uh, mounts. All right. Well, you can all use it for 120, okay? If not, if you wanted to do a 240, you'd have to get one of these two pole. Uh, um, You'd need a two-pole uh, circuit breaker, okay? Basically, it would take up two slots, and and then and then it would kind of like tie the two together, sort of kind of. It well, it would be one breaker would operate two um, two of the phases, all right, or or L1 and L2 at the same time, okay? But we don't we don't need that, um, and and I could use every freaking s uh, circuit breaker slot I can get, okay? If if we have it this way, we can only use three, okay? If you look here. All right. So yeah, look here. There's there's three, right? So this one is connected to here. This one is connected to here, and this one is connected to here. So you could only use three, um, three of this. Ah, oh, well, you know what? If you had a, if you still had a, yeah, if you still had a 120 here and a 120 here, and you use a single pole breaker, you could still use it. It's it'll run on a different circuit. Okay. I didn't think about that too, but I, you know, Handy Smuggler doesn't know too much stuff about wiring houses and stuff. Okay. But 
So we're going to convert this panel into 120 only, and we're only going to use one, uh, one hot wire, okay, one black wire. So to do that, we're going to we're going to bridge um, this to this, okay. It's not easy on this panel. I th I, I think some panels have the bus bars like oh yeah yeah yeah. I guess if the panel is like um, horizontal, if it's like this way, and the and this is flipped around, you can actually add like a bus bar that goes between here, okay. That that will connect these two. But uh, we don't have that, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have anything like that. So what we're going to use is another wire, okay? So, so I was managed to... So the, the extra wire that we had... All right, where's that extra wire? Okay, so the extra wire that I had that, that I was hoping that I could use was this one, okay? And, but it's not long enough, okay? So basically, we're just going to put two wires in here, all right? And then we're going to... I was going to run it all the way here. Not here. This is the neutral right here. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You want to move this one to over here, okay? And there's plenty of, like, plastic protector stuff, so nothing is going to touch, okay? Um, now, I, 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 I had an 8-gauge wire and a freaking 4-gauge wire. I did not have a 6-gauge, okay? So if you look at this, this is a little thicker, okay? <laughs> it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot thicker. It's about thicker by, like, half. All right, I, I, I found it in my shed, so I was like, well, all right, we'll just use this then. So, so that's what we're going to use to bridge this, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of speed up the video. It's, it's pretty simple. All I got to do is run this wire from here to here, okay? Um, in fact, yeah, I'm not even going to get a video of it. I'll just show you what, <laughs> what I've done, okay? But yeah, just remember when you put the wires inside the, the, the terminals here, you wiggle them and then you tighten it. Wiggle, then tighten, wiggle, then tighten, and then and then uh, then it will really scrunch it down. Okay, all right. Here's me go. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, I didn't mention like I had an eight and the four gauge. So the eight is smaller than the six, and the four is bigger than the six. So I went with the four. That's what. That's the reason we're going with the four. Um, could we use the eight? Probably. Pro probably. I don't know. Six. Six gauge. What's six gauge? Six gauge is good for like 50 amps or something. Yeah, it's good for 50 amps, so it should be fine. This is a 100 amp panel, so. Um, but I don't know. I I don't know how you know it's a 100 amp panel. I guess that's the max it can handle. So, <laughs> all right. Okay, there we go. There's my handiwork. So now we can use, for this one wire, we could use the whole circuit breaker panel, okay? So um, if you had an L2 here, yeah, you could just put circuit breakers. I don't, we don't have L2, so. <laughs> All right, so that's the, that's, it's, so this is 120 volt only also. So, uh, so I got it right on the panel, the box, 120 volt only. Okay, you got that. <laughs> well, all I did was like I put a, I put a piece of tape over this, and I put 120 volt only. So just in case I do want to use it for 240 volts later, uh, we could just you know take it off, uh, and then then we'll just put 200, just take it off. <laughs> so basically, okay. But yeah, that's just to let you know this is only 120 volts only. All right.